Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. What Fourth Amendment rights are involved in this case? The Fourth Amendment of the U.S. Constitution guarantees the right of the people to be secure in their persons, houses, papers, and effects against unreasonable searches and seizures. Key Components of the Fourth Amendment 1. Probable Cause There must be enough evidence that a reasonable person would believe a crime was committed. This evidence is presented to a judge who must agree before authorizing the search by granting a warrant. 2. Warrant requirement. In most cases, law enforcement agents need a warrant to search your person or belongings. The warrant must be supported by oath or affirmation and particularly describe the place to be searched and the persons or things to be seized. 3. Exclusionary rule. If there is no probable cause and you are searched illegally, any evidence collected from the search will be excluded from evidence at trial. 4. Reasonable expectation of privacy. A search under the Fourth Amendment occurs when a governmental employee or agent violates an individual's reasonable expectation of privacy. Exceptions to the warrant requirement. 1. Consent. A warrantless search may be lawful if an officer has asked and is given consent to search. 2. Incident to a lawful arrest. A warrantless search may be conducted incident to a lawful arrest. 3. Exigent circumstances. Warrantless searches are allowed in situations where people are in imminent danger, evidence faces imminent destruction, or prior to a suspect's imminent escape. 4. Plain view. Warrantless seizure of objects in plain view does not violate the Fourth Amendment. Protected interests. 1. Persons. This includes physical bodies. When a police officer seizes a person, it is considered a seizure under the Fourth Amendment. 2. Houses. This includes private premises. Most warrantless searches of private premises are prohibited unless a specific exception applies. 3. Papers and effects. These are protected against unreasonable searches and seizures. This can include various forms of property and personal items. Landmark cases. 1. Florida v. Riley, 1989. The Fourth Amendment does not require the police to obtain a warrant to observe what is visible to the naked eye from a public airway. 2. Murray v. U.S. 1988. Evidence initially discovered during an illegal entry may not be suppressed if it is also discovered during a later search pursuant to a valid warrant. 3. California v. Greenwood, 1988. The Fourth Amendment does not prohibit the warrantless search and seizure of garbage left for collection outside the curtilage of a home. Application in different settings. 1. Schools. While you don't shed your constitutional rights when you go to school, they must be balanced with the rights of your classmates and the responsibility of the school to provide a safe environment. 2. Public spaces. The Fourth Amendment does not guarantee protection from all searches and seizures, but only those done by the government and deemed unreasonable under the law. Helpful resources, County Office, colon slash slash countyoffice.org, Legal Information Institute, hdublaw.cornell.edu slash Fourth Amendment, Judicial Learning, Judicial Learning Center.org slash your Fourth Amendment rights and or slash slash. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.